hello friends uh, in this video we will be discussing about some of arithmetic progression in other words I can say that some of n terms of arithmetic progression now let's suppose I have a progression here 5 10 15 20 25 and so on up to let's suppose it goes up to 20 terms now how I can find some of these 20 terms which can be represented by as 20 in our previous videos we discussed what what is an arithmetic progression and we also discussed about uh, nth term of arithmetic progression in this video we will be focusing on some of n terms of an arithmetic progression so there is a formula here which is very simple and straightforward sum of n terms of an AP is equal to n, o, n divided by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d so small letter d here is common difference uh, which we have already discussed n is the number of terms for example if we want to find sum of 20 terms then n would be equal to 20 so an a here would be basically so the first term of the sequence and n is again uh, the number of terms present in the sequence or uh, are up to which we want to find sum for example if we want to find sum up to 15 terms in this sequence then n would be equal to 15 if we want to find sum equal to 20 terms in the sequence then n would be equal to uh, 20 now let's solve this example as 20 because I want to find sum of 20 terms of this AP and it will be equal to 20 over 2 and well if n is 20 in this case first term is 5 and common difference is equal to 5 and 2 times value of a is 5 here plus 20 minus 1 times d value of d here is again 5 which is common difference 20 divided by 2 is 10 and this is 10 plus 19 times 5 so I get here 10 plus 19 times 5 is uh, 95 so I get here 10 times 105 which is equal to 1050 so the sum of 20 terms of this arithmetic progression is equal to 1050 now the questions can a question can come up in your mind that how uh, this formula actually came into existence then this formula can be derived easily uh, for example sum of n terms of an AP uh, basically is sum of the first term sum of second term sum of third term sum of fourth term sum of fifth term sixth term and so on up to n terms basically and we know that the first term is represented by a second term can be found by just adding a uh, small letter d to the sequence uh, small letter uh, second term can be found by just adding common difference uh, to the first term and this third term can be found by adding common difference twice to the first term and fourth term can be found by adding common difference three times to the first term and so on and this a n would be basically equal to n minus 1 times d basically this is adding common difference n minus 1 times to the first term so I get here a plus a plus d a plus 2d plus a plus 3d plus and so on and a plus n minus 1 times d similarly let's mark this as equation number one similarly I can mark SN I can write the whole thing in the reverse order here which would be a plus n minus 1 times d plus a plus n minus 2d plus dash 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 and I will have a reverse order finishing like this which is a plus b a plus d plus a so if I add this 
Sn with this Sn I get equation something like that 2 Sn uh, let's mark this as equation number 2 uh, if I add this this thing Sn with this Sn uh, basically I'm adding first equation with the second equation I get 2 Sn equal to something here on the right hand side I would not go through the proof here um, it's clearly written in the same post here which I'm posting uh, about and uh, when you solve that equation you come up with n over 2 2a plus n minus 1 times d which is the formula for sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression similarly I can modify this formula by writing something like this so I just split this 2a into a plus a and this n minus 1 times d is written as it is and from our previous discussions we know that nth term of an AP is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d which is this part here so I can replace this whole part by a n so it's a plus a n so in other in other words sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression can also be found if I know value of n for example if I want to find sum of 20 terms of an AP uh, I know I would know the value of n if I know the value of first term and if I know the value of the 20th term then I can easily find the sum of 20 terms of an AP <clears throat> so this was it um, uh, about sum of arithmetic progressions and uh, in the next video uh, we will be doing lots of practice questions uh, which will be related to our uh, sum of arithmetic progressions and uh, nth term of arithmetic progressions and uh, finding the value of common difference first term and so on uh, see you guys in the next